update here from Norway. We've had some great days with some great sunshine and also my engine reworks sort of just had to take a back burn because well I'm not sure you can see but we got well sort of a lot of weed whacking to do. This is just a small part of the property so uh, there's where the new garage is gonna be hopefully. So uh, some minor work to do then should be ready to build but for now it's just this part of weed whacking that's really really it's a lot of metals there it's almost all metals so uh, yeah it's about three feet tall i guess three maybe four feet tall some of it and uh yeah it's gonna take a fair bit of time to get this sorted i just received my parts from ebay today uh, for the Briggs and Stratton rebuild and uh, that should be funny but both intake valves came together and uh, I'm really looking forward to getting back into that one when everything else is sorted. I also uh, found my real camcorder so this is the first video with, with the uh, DV camcorder just to say started doing the weed whacking and all that this here weed whacker that I bought a week or so ago it's a cheapo model it's sort of like well, I'm not sure what they got over there in the states and everything but this here thing is called a MEEC or Meek I guess it's a 25.4 uh, cc engine and uh, it's at it's, uh, maxes out at about 7,500 RPMs, thereabouts. It's not really big, it only cuts about 38 centimeters or what's that, a foot? Just over a foot. And uh, it's decent enough. It works for my tree. But uh, just as I started weed whacking yesterday, this uh, throttle lever broke they made this out of real real brittle plastic and i'm not sure if you can see that in there this thing was made out of really crappy plastics that's where the if you can see in there the uh, throttle wire as the standard fastening mechanism and uh, that's supposed to be seated in there. But of course, the plastic broke right there. And uh, I've sort of tried to epoxy it. Sorry for the shaking there. I tried to epoxy it together and I'm just waiting for that to cure. But of course, that's put that on a halt. Just like everything else these days. Working on this old Riggs and Stratton today. I've uh, done a little bit of cleaning on these ports here. I'm not sure if you can see anything here. It's so dark outside now. But uh they're now soaking for the umpteenth time just to get it sorted. I uh, I've taken off these covers now just to show you they're all covered up all during the day. But uh if you can see here it actually looks a little bit better than what it did last time you saw it. But uh yeah cobwebs got in there yeah. well as I said uh, last or pretty earlier the um, parts or the new intake and exhaust valve arrived and I'm gonna see if I can try to get it sorted so uh, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned go to the dentist today and uh, oh, that was not a Cheap or pleasurable experience. Right, you can see my ugly mug too. Oh, sorry. It's not that easy to zoom. And uh, well, if you watch behind me there, you can see some firewood all sorted out for this evening. But um, yeah, the dentist experience today was an easy $200 out. And uh, well, 
the dentist is going for holidays now, so he's back in a month and I'm back in his chair because I have to get some fillings or root fillings and get root canals. That's not a thousand dollars. Yay! Well, just uh, thought I'd give you this little update and 